I hope I don't regret this. I let them out of the cage to run around a little bit in hopes that they'll let me catch them, that I've earned enough trust with them that I'll be able to pick them up when they're needing to be. But they needed to move around a bit. A bit more than they have been able to. So this evening we have a very important chore to do. It is something that is unique and it's new to us and it's not usually done in the south. So it involves this big beautiful black walnut tree. So most of my friends up north who have experience with tapping maple know that in the south it doesn't get that cold for the sap to run and flow. But we have been having the temperatures of freezing in the evening and thawing during the day that actually might make it possible. And we do have black walnut, which makes a wonderful syrup. Some would even argue it's better than maple syrup. So due to our lack of experience, we ordered a wonderful kit that came in the mail and it came with some instruction sheets, some tubing, some tubing <laughs> and the actual taps themselves along with some recipe cards so we're pretty excited to go ahead and try this out it's experimental it's exciting if it works and we only get a little bit of syrup that's gonna be fun and worth the effort but if we get a lot of syrup it's gonna be truly groundbreaking for us okay I'm gonna start with a 5 16 drill bit and I'm gonna make a measurement one and a half inches from the end. That way I know where to stop when I'm drilling into the tree. Well, hello there. Are you guys gonna help? <laughs> Curious lambs. They wanna help. Okay, so I'm using the hoses provided and just so happen to have these brewing buckets that have a grommet and a lid to keep it, um, keep debris out. And we're going to use the bucket to decide where we want to drill the hole into the tree. I'm choosing a south facing side of the tree so it warms up in the daytime. And also you're looking for a limb or a root. And that's going to determine where the sap is flowing to and from. That looks like a good spot to me. What do you think? Yep, I think that'll work as long as you have downward flow so the sap can run out. This is all gravity fed. So we will put the tap in at a slight angle. So when you start your drill, you have to just slightly angle down. That way the stuff coming out of the tap comes down. Does that make sense? Yep. And some people do say that um, the black walnut having such thick knots of bark make it kind of hard. So the fact that you just picked a spot to go that was in between was a good idea. Ready? So not too steep. Slightly going up. Yeah. All right. And and make sure you do it in one smooth, straight stroke so that the tubing can fit in easily, okay. or the tap, I should say. Here we go. Sometimes the sap starts flowing right away. I don't see it. I don't <laughs> We're in Georgia, so things might not be typical. Then you want to clean away the sawdust. You don't want that getting in your tubing and clogging it. So we have this nice handy dandy brush to just go ahead and clean that debris out before we put our tap in. You can just blow in it too, to be sure. All right, I know. All right, we did break away some of the outer bark. We don't want to damage our tree too much, but we were trying to get it so that the tap would fit in there with it being in the groove. 
All right, so I'm gonna put the tap in the hole. And this is just a cheap plastic tap from Amazon. So we have to tap gently right on the hammer point. Don't want to crack it, so just just tap and it said it in. Yeah, they said in the paperwork that it'll bounce back when you have it all the way in. You'll know yep. the hammer will bounce back at you. All right, I wonder if I should put the tube on now. It might be tight. Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna put the tube on. That's a good idea. I'm gonna. So it's, it's just going in there, nice and easy. Ooh, we might need to heat that up. So the tubing is designed to fit very snug. So sometimes you do have to take a cup of hot water and heat up the end to get it to stretch over the fitting proper. But Ryan's gonna try brute strength first. <laughs> It's as far as I can go. All right, that's it. It's as simple as that. So we will check this every day and see how much sap we collect. What are we doing? You're getting sap, I think. I think so. I hope so. If it works, it's kind of an experiment. Are you excited? Yes. Do you know we have to, we could just drink the sap as it is? It's supposed to be very nutritious. Okay. But if you boil it down, it turns into like maple syrup sweetness. Yeah, I and know that. And we don't that. add any sugar. It just cooks off all the water and it becomes very sweet. I know that. Are you excited? Yes. Are you gonna blow some bubbles? Yeah. But first, right. can you open these? Yeah. Are you excited about the syrup? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, are you excited? He wants bubbles. Okay, let's do bubbles. No, bubbles! Look at Rowan bl bl blow them towards Odin so he. See the bubbles? Yay! All right, you guys keep blowing bubbles. Keep an eye on the lambs and Odin. We're going to go check out the maple tree and see if we can tap it too. Okay. All right, be right back. <laughs> they like playing. And here's our only maple that's big enough. We probably have some young maples in the forest, but they're all smaller diameter. You do want to make sure that your tree is at least 12 to 18 inches in diameter before you tap it so that it's strong enough to handle it. Um, considering the amount of damage the sap suckers have done on this tree and the sap that's actually flowing out already, I think this is going to give us a good amount. So I think we're going to try to focus on getting it in here so that we catch it before it goes out those holes. Y'all, this tree is literally crying. It's dripping sap out of it. We are definitely in the right time frame to be doing this. <gasps> this is exciting. And I just licked some of it and it is kind of sweet. All right, Ryan, get that bad boy in there. Alrighty. Oh, I can't wait. Maple syrup and black walnut syrup. We might be really perfect timing on this. George is actually having some cold temperatures at night, so here we go. All right, we got our hole drilled. I'm just gonna make a spot for the bucket. Right oh yes, yeah. you do wanna make sure that your bucket is in a good secure position. You might even have to tie it down if you're worried that there might be wildlife that might bump into it. Just tap, tap, tap. I guess that's why they call it tapping the tree, huh? Just gently tap it in. All right. Is it all the way in? It's giving me a bounce now. So. I think I have sap on my lens. I keep on seeing a spot that looks like moisture. Yep, see it right there on Ryan's head? I think that's sap. <laughs> 
You think I should put a couple more taps in this tree? I think this one warrants a few more taps. So you don't want to do more than two or three taps on a large tree. This tree is gigantic. So I think doing two or three on this tree would probably benefit us the most. But we'll keep an eye on the black walnut. If it is doing really good, we'll add another tap to it. But this tree is just begging to be tapped. It's dripping. It is dripping. I am... I wish we had done this sooner, but we had to wait for the kit to come in our Amazon order. So I guess this was the time to do it. I swear I smell maple syrup now. I don't know. That's, if that's, that's probably just Bowser. Or, or I don't, yeah, I don't know if that's just wishful <laughs> See thinking tripping? or not. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so it's funny because oftentimes Cooney Coonies and some other pig breeds, but uh, it seems to be more common in the Cooney Cooney genetics. They will actually smell like maple syrup and Bowser strongly smells of maple syrup. I can pet him and then smell my fingers and be like, ah, you wouldn't think that about a pig, but he has a strong maple syrup smell and it's really cool. Now we might be making our own syrup. Super excited. Definitely keep you posted on how it works. I gotta hurry back to the kids. Check on everybody real quick over here. All right, so just making sure the birds are going where they need to for the night. Sometimes they don't go in their coop. It is just a temporary coop, but hopefully soon we'll be getting our big coop built. And just walking back there and coming back, look what I'm seeing. There is already moisture in the tubing. I don't know if you can see that, but that's moisture from sap. We drip, drill the second hole and look at that guys. I don't want to waste a drop, but just had to show you. Isn't that cool? Okay, that's the second hole. That was just dripping. I'm going to just tap in. All right. Oh, it's coming out easily. Wow. They like playing on the mulch pile, jumping off the logs. You guys are so silly. You're so silly. You like it up there? They're having so much fun out here.